Claire. V. Ready for the next race? Ready here. Ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? We'll take my ride. Feels more natural to me. You get it. Of course. Yours it is. Meet there, yeah? Rancho? Be right there. See you then. I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Now worried this will get you killed? What, today? The race? Why? Not asking about just today. Could be, though, or next one? One after that? Chew and mine got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So you know, it is what it is. Case or all sera. This race has given me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? At 6th Street, the mocks, gangs are well repped. Just a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure.
Oh my fucking god, we won! We're finals bound! Yeah! Hell yeah! Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there. Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Wieldy or heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. He brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Isn't that weird? A little, I guess, but it's fine. Dean. Only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? I mean, I mean in, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. You saying you feel at fault for his death? Me at fault? Why would you think that? He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel. Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight. Sampson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. Isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Samson had a history going way back. Something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Right, so this isn't business as usual for you. This isn't about winning. Well, that's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this your best plan for vengeance? Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go, not try to repeat. And me. Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So yeah, let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This, it's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. It's V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. 
Mm-hmm. And for what, exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter, so let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes? Or are they wrong about you? All right. I'm in. Japantown, then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. Hey, you're V, yes? Oh, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Doesn't that bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one in your face? Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. You never know with you gringos. Tiger Claws. Heard of them? Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that.
You got grenades up your ass, too? Fuck, fuck. This ain't a good time to dig around, V! Uh. Oh, fuck you! Want a taste of this, assholes? Uh. Ha! Not bad, right? Would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? Now are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Unhappy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> and does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. You've reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye. <laughs> 